Well hello friends and welcome back to Vlogmas. It is almost lunchtime, I think it must be about 12 o'clock by now, but you have not missed out much from my morning because I woke up at 5.30 and I just spent the entire morning sitting on the floor in the living room. I don't know why I was sitting on the floor, there's a perfectly good couch, but I chose to sit on the floor in my PJs and just like watch YouTube videos. That's it. So I finally got myself together, put on some makeup, got dressed. This outfit looked way better in my head than it does in real life, but it's only five days left until Christmas and I'm concerned that there's not enough time for me to wear all my Christmas jumpers. So I was like, it, we're, we're working with it, we're making it work, it's fine. So I'm about to have some lunch and then I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I am so bored. Okay, I'm sitting on the floor again. This is a, the theme of the day. But I've been home for, I think, a week now. That went really quickly. It doesn't feel like a week, but I think it's been a week. And I don't have a car. Everyone's at work, so I'm just kind of sitting around the house all day, trying to keep myself entertained. And for the first couple of days, that was really nice and really appreciated because I have been on the go for so long. It was nice to just sit there and have nothing to do. But I'm not that kind of person. Like, I like to be busy. So being stuck in the house is driving me a little bit insane. There's not really anywhere I can go. I mean, I walked to the hairdressers yesterday, but that's as far as I can reasonably walk. Especially since it's the weather is appalling like it hasn't rained yet today but it's coming it's always coming but my pasta is probably overcooked right now because i completely forgot about it so let's go deal with that situation <sighs> and officially start the day at noon yeah this is a definite culinary issue that i have going on right here I'm just having the leftover garlicless pasta sauce that I made the other day with red lentil pasta. Nothing exciting, but I, it was like super easy. So that's what we're going with. Eamon and Ruth are no Philip and Holly. I don't care what anyone says. So we have a bit of a midday mystery on our hands because the postman just came and he delivered two packages from Amazon. This one, I know is going to be one of my dad's gifts, which I, can we just take a second for the fact that I did not believe that this would get here on time. I ordered it two days ago and Amazon was like, you can expect it by the 7th of January. So the fact that it got here, hallelujah, that's all I can say. But then also he brought this giant box and it's addressed to me. But I have not ordered anything from Amazon. I have no idea what this could be. Well, let's find out. Oh my goodness! Ah, oh, wow! I know what this is. I was not expecting this at all, but here it is. So let's open it on up and take a look. So very recently, like we are talking just a few days ago, that's why I'm so surprised that this is here already. I got an email from a company. They make these memory foam pillows and they wanted to send it out to me to review. They said it's not tested on animals and it is as environmentally sustainable as possible with the manufacturing process and the materials. So I emailed them back and I was like, sure thing, it sounds like the kind of thing that I would enjoy. Send it over and then I asked them, can you give me a bit more information about like, what does that mean? That it's environmentally friendly as possible, but they didn't get back to me. So I wasn't sure whether, well, I wasn't sure what was gonna happen, honestly. But here is the pillow, so we can definitely take a look at it. It's the Quiesta, I think I'm saying that right, Quiesta Bamboo Memory Flake Pillow. And I have never had a memory foam or memory anything pillow before. So we'll see what this pillow is like. It's clearly very squashy because it fits into this bag. <laughs> Maybe I can never get it out, I don't know. This is where this lives now, it's not coming out of this bag. 
and it sure as heck is never going back in. I can tell you that much. So let's unravel this right here and see what we have. Ooh. Okay. So it's obviously a little bit misshapen from being squeezed into that tube, but if it's like memory form, then surely it should straighten itself back out. Okay, so this says, congratulations on becoming a new member of Quiesta. Quiesta aims to serve its members with the most advanced bedding products in the world. Whoa, big claims. Okay, can take 24 hours for it to expand fully, but usually takes six to 10 hours. Yeah, it's looking more and more like a pillow every second that it's out of that bag, so that's good. So I'm gonna leave that to fully expand. And then we'll see what that's like tonight. That was the mystery element of the day. So now I'm going to do some wrapping because I spent, no joke, three hours wrapping Christmas presents for my mum yesterday because she hates wrapping. So I was like, it's fine, I got this, I'll do your Christmas wrapping. And then it took so long that I didn't have time to do any of my own. So I'm gonna do that today. Maybe put on a little bit of Christmas music. Like, if it was later on in the day, I feel like I'd have a glass of wine. Can I have a glass of wine at 12 o'clock in the afternoon? Don't think that's socially acceptable, though, so I probably won't. But I will get the wrapping done, either way. So in true Amy fashion, I've become completely sidetracked and distracted. Because originally, I wanted to wrap my presents using just regular brown like postage paper that we already had in the house you know because reduce reuse recycle and a lot of wrapping papers can't be recycled whereas this is just plain old regular paper so it's fine so i was gonna like paint not paint but like stamp on christmas trees or something to make it look pretty and i can't because all the paints are somewhere then the christmas paper that my mom bought I think is recyclable anyway because she got the it's kind of pretty much the exact same thing as this but it's been printed on but it has no glitter it has minimal color in it and it doesn't have a sheen or anything so as far as we were informed this is recyclable because she wanted to get a recyclable paper this year too but I would love if I could use this I would just feel like Kirstie Allsop or something Okay, so gifts are wrapped and I think that they look pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with how they turned out. I did attempt with the plain paper, but you know, it is what it is. But generally speaking, I think they look pretty darn good. One thing that I do want to mention, um, just in case any of you are wondering, on, and also just because I want to talk about it, is the fact that some of these gifts that I've wrapped have these horrible plastic ribbon things which single-use plastic you know how i feel about it i absolutely hate it but like you saw we have a giant box of christmas wrapping stuff like it's huge and the stuff that's in that box has been in that box for years so that's not something that we've gone out and bought this year nor would we i really it bothers me to use it but at the same time like whether i throw it all away now and don't use it or i use it to wrap the gift and then it gets thrown away either way unfortunately it's ending up in the landfill it is what it is so i feel like i'd rather get use out of it rather than waste it because either way it's coming to the same end you know what i mean so 
that's why I've got these like bows and stuff that I would never buy now. That's why we have that. I'm really in the mood to make cookies and I know that when I lived here there would always be a supply of cookie ingredients just in case. I'm hoping my parents have upheld that while I've been gone and that there are ingredients in here because I'm really feeling some chocolate chip cookies right now. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, everybody pause everything. Chocolate chips. Do we have the sugar that we need? That is the question. I'm gonna have to climb up there. Just gonna have to be my most ladylike self. <laughs> okay, please. No, there's no brown sugar. So we have the chocolate chips, we have three bags of caster sugar, but no brown sugar, which I don't think it'll work with caster sugar, the recipe that I want to make, so. <laughs> but I did just find out that I'm going out tonight for my friend Haley's birthday, which I thought was tomorrow. But it's tonight. Okay, so I'm all ready for Haley's birthday thing. So I wanted to show you my outfit because I think I threw it together pretty well. This top is from New Look and it was $9.99. And then this skirt is from Miss Selfridge and it was in the sale for £12. Bargain. Feel like I passed for fashionable today, right? Also, I went to get my hair cut a couple of days ago and it is all gone. Like I am bald. I'm trying to keep it together and not like freak out. But I'm kind of freaking out because I have no hair left. Happy birthday! How's Bingo going? <laughs> Adrenaline is pumping. How are you doing? Not very well. Tony, how are you doing at Bingo? Not very well. It's not suiting my, my style. Bingo is hard. Like, it's really hard. I'm back from bingo and I didn't win. None of us won. There was a huge group of us. We all went out for Haley's birthday. None of us won. I really enjoyed that. So that was a nice end to a pretty weird day, but nice day because I got all my presents wrapped. I... Is that it? Is that all I did today other than bingo? Really? I don't know. I enjoyed it anyway. And thank you guys so much for spending it with me. Don't forget to pop back tomorrow for another Vlogmas video. And until then, remember I love you all so much. And I will see you soon. Bye.